Sam Albury, this very person, is coming to the United States and bringing with him this audit that he created, which provides 10 benchmarks to measure whether a church is compliant with being inclusive of gay people. I know many Anglicans who do not like this and who are fighting this tooth and nail. Would this not seem like the Church of England and Parliament is imposing homosexuality on American churches, something that even our own government in Washington has not dared to do. That document now is being implemented in two Southern Baptist churches in the United States and Cambridge, Massachusetts. So the leadership of those churches is willingly taking on itself a document that was generated by the Anglican Church, which does not have separation from the government of England. We fought an entire revolutionary war so that this would not happen. The people who gave their blood, sweat, and tears in the Revolutionary War did that so that Parliament and the Crown of England could not dictate to us our faith. This goes back to the Bible. In the first book of Kings and in the second book of Kings, there are clear descriptions of what happened when the monarchy and the temple got entangled with homosexuality. Is that or is that not correct, Tom? There are multiple references to a cult of male prostitutes, basically homosexuality flourishing in the temples of ancient Israel and Judah. That brought down various monarchs in Israel and in Judah. Josiah and Hezekiah had to clean house, and it still didn't work. Israel was still condemned, all right, by God. And so that is the root of the faith that our forebears carried over when they fled the Church of England. It was clear that they were never again going to allow a monarchy and a government to force that kind of perversion on our places of worship. And here what we have right now is the crown of England and Parliament has dictated that we have to allow the male prostitutes back into our temples. And they're using these go-betweens between the Anglican Church and the Southern Baptist Convention to undo the American Revolution. I cannot emphasize this enough.